Hey there, it's your boy Perch. I think uh, I'm going to get more subscribers, so maybe if I lead off with that, I'll get more. I don't know. I don't say it right. I don't have that. I never lived in New York. I never had that East Coast kind of kind of vernacular that would go on. I also I use words like vernacular. Um, no, but I wanted to. It's related. I wanted to talk about roasts, and you know, there's a lot of YouTube channels. There's a lot of uh, folks who have done roasts, and um, the roasts have gone, gotten a lot of heat, uh, a lot of controversy, and that's really generated a lot of angst among um, creators and fans and, and readers and, and, well, not readers, viewers. And, um, and it's, it's, t- it's a tough one uh, because I think if you look fairly, if you take a step back and look fairly at both sides, um, you know, roasts can certainly be hurtful, and there's a very fine line. There's a lot of comedians will tell you there's a fine line between doing a really aggressive uh, roast and stepping into kind of a weird personal boundary with that roast. I mean, roasts are cruel. If you listen to some of the classic roasts and some of the comedians that that are really famous for doing roasts, um, they're not they're not shy. Uh, they go after other comedians. They go after topics pretty pretty aggressively. It's not it's not like it's a it's a polite, uh, gentle mocking of a topic. It's it's you know it's it's aggressive. It's kind of the nature of a roast. Um, but at the same time, there there are you know odd boundaries about kind of Winnie roast and the kind of the setup for the roast and the um, you know the culpability of the person getting roasted. It's not typically that you roast someone um, in any old comedy roast. It's not like you'd go roast somebody uh, without them being there or without them being aware. It's that that's just like you know going on stage and insulting someone. Um, but it, but then you know some roasts have kind of evolved where you you make fun of a topic or you do so in a humorous way. And I, 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 you know, two of my favorite, um, they're not roasts, but two of my favorite channels are, uh, honest trailers. I, I love, uh, those. I think they do a really good job of, uh, kind of laying into a movie in a, in a fun way, in a polite way, but in a way that is, uh, you know, I mean, certainly people take offense. Um, the, Wachowski brothers, the the Matrix guys, uh, they um, they were really pissed apparently at, at one of the honest trailers. Is is the rumor? Uh, they were really offended and um, angry, and it, it caused a, a big kerfluffle um, with those guys. And uh, and yet, I think that I don't. You know, if you listen to the honest trailer stuff, I don't think that stuff is is mean. I think it's fun. I think it's lighthearted. I think it's gentle. When all is said, and I think there's a lot of truths that come out. But I think if you're if you've got thin skin, I think it could probably bother you. Um, the other one I like is uh, Ozzy Man. I, I love that stuff. I, I think he. That's again not a roast, but he does uh, commentary. And at times it's pretty cutting and, and cruel uh, to people, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's all in good fun. And I think, you know, I think those are two examples of comedy in YouTube that, that I enjoy. And that I always kind of hope I can insert into this channel, but I, you know, I, I don't have the mechanism. I, I actually tried a few times to do a comic review kind of Aussie man style or honest trailer style. And it, just, it didn't come out right. It's uh, I'm not those guys. You can, you can appreciate and love something and not, uh, you know, not need to be it yourself. I think that's uh, one of the things you learn in life that kind of a hard lesson to learn, but um, when you do, it's, it's good. Um, but uh, over in comics land uh, for a long time, I, uh, I listened to Nurkish and his roasts. I always thought were really, really good. I thought uh, really funny, just, just um, very, very dark. Um, definitely went through the throat. Um, and there's a case where the creator is not there and I'm sure the creator probably listening to those roasts, probably pretty pissed. Uh, I don't, I don't know. You know, everybody's going to take criticism in different ways, also depending on how they feel. Um, it's not, it's not black and white. Uh, but I, I always thought his roasts were pretty inventive, pretty clever and, uh, and, and mean, I mean, <laughs> they were, they were mean. Um, and he did a lot of humor that I think probably people would say was racist, sexist, um, all the ists. Uh, but it, it felt like he was doing a bit. It felt like um, it, it reminded me of comedy roasts that I've seen on TV. It, it had that feeling. Um, and then the other the other one that, uh, of course, comes up a lot is uh, Diversity in Comics, although it has a new name now that I can never remember, um, with uh, Zach, uh, Richard, uh, whatever. I, again, I, I, I don't keep a lot of track of um, 
social media dynamics. So I don't know if if there's an official name or not, or if that's doxing. I I, I don't know anymore. Um, but you know, I think it, it would. Here's my my personal speculation on some of that is. I think that the the roast of the comics wasn't what got people all ticked off. It was the um, kind of the more commentary on some of the individuals around comics that got people all ticked off. I, I, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I found the uh, his roast you know fairly benign. Again, cutting probably. But the other thing about roast, and this is just true for kind of all commentary, movies, comics, anyone who's doing it, is that you you have the ability. You can make anything sound stupid if you use kind of funny voices and you like, dur, 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 you know, like for the characters, you can make the best comic books. You could pick up a uh, Jack Kirby. You can pick up uh, Craven's Last Last Hunt. I think that's one of the best comics uh, out there. Um, and I think you you can read that with a wacky voice or an effeminate voice, or you can read it like, you know, you could take the perspective of, oh, look at look at Peter Parker being a little, you know, a little doof. And uh, this guy is trying on somebody else's costume. I mean, you could, you could kind of make that comic sound dumb if you read it a certain way. And I think some of the roasts I've heard from a lot of people, I'm not, not picking on anybody in particular. Um, the comic is actually not so, not that bad, but if you, if you come at it from a perspective of, kind of mocking the, you know, doing voices for the characters and kind of mocking some of the, the, you know, the foundation of the comic, then I, I think, you know, it, 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 it can turn readers away from something that is good. Now, at the end of the day, I think everybody's responsible for themselves. And I, I truly hope that anyone listening to any video, including mine, uh, are especially mine, actually, are, you're making your own decision. I mean, it's your money, it's your time. And, and frankly, you know, you, you learn this, God, this can be an old person thing to say, but you learn this as you get older, uh, your time is worth more than your money, way more than your money. And you're, how you're spending that time, how you're spending your money is, uh, you know, is, it, it's the very, you should be cautious about it. So you shouldn't listen to a video and go, well, this guy says buy, I buy. Or this guy says don't buy, don't buy. I mean, don't, just make up your own mind. Go look at the comic, you know, see for yourself. Reviews and news articles and videos and everything else can be great in terms of uh, giving you opinions. And roasts can be funny for you know comedy and other things. And it should inform your decision. If you find somebody that you trust, then that gives you an extra data point of you know some. This is uh, somebody's opinion I trust, and and that can shortcut some of the decision process. That's great. Uh, it's always good to find people whose interests align with yours, and then go for it. Uh, but you should you should still make up your own mind on things. And I think that's that's been you know as I kind of look at a lot of the roasts, there's um, you know making a joke, uh, making a good funny video that people can enjoy and and uh, you know laugh at. And then there's doing a review and there's doing a review in such a way that, you know, the, the, the review is more about your bit as a reviewer, as opposed to, um, an actual review of a comic. Um, so I, you may be like, what, what the hell is he saying now? I, I, what I'm saying is just, um, I think that you have to kind of look at videos and commentary of everyone. And again, including me, and you should say, is this, is this a comedy bit? Is this somebody's measured opinion? And what's my opinion? And, and those are three separate things. And you should you know, make the best decisions you can with that. And I, and I do wish, where roasts are concerned, I, I just, I want comics, I guess this is my, my big point I've been leading up to, I want comics to be enjoyable. I want there to be some fun and, and you know, good-natured fun, uh, even kind of edgy fun in comics. I don't think we should just be serious all the time. I do think we should be able to poke fun at each other. And one of the things that I think, it, which is a shame, social media and the internet has given us all these extra ways to communicate with each other, all these new tools that allow us to measure opinions and, and talk and share. It's given us all these things we didn't have before. And we're more sensitive than ever. Um, when somebody gives a bad review, it's, it's more, it, it's, it's now more crushing and it's more, you know, it, it leads to, to war online. Um, and I, the comic shouldn't be that way. I, we should be able to say, 
hey, I didn't like this comic. Here's why. Or, hey, this comic had some wacky moments in it. I'm going to make fun of it. And here you go. And it shouldn't lead to World War III. We should be able to to make fun of each other without it being uh, on both sides, without being cruel to the point that you're you're you know driving somebody into depression. Um, or it, it also shouldn't be that the reviewer, because they said a bad thing, is automatically a, a Nazi or some horrible person. We should be able to have. I, I like good roasts. We should be able to have good roasts. And it, it, and we don't, we can't, I mean, it's very, very hard now to, to do that without it really offending people and really getting under people's skin. I think that's, that's wrong. We've got to come back uh, as a group. We've got to come, we've got to you know, bring the tension down a little bit and get back to the place where we can laugh at each other a little bit and not be, not be mean. Now it should go without saying, um, you know, laughing at somebody's, uh, if somebody's gay uh, laughing about that in, you know, and making cruel kind of, uh, hate kind of jokes. That's, those aren't jokes. That's when I say we should be able to laugh at each other. I don't mean we should be able to, uh, rip each other because of our skin color or our sexuality or any of that. I, I think, I think that's, that's not making a joke. That's just being a dick, uh, pardon my expression. Um, I, I think saying, you know, Oh, look at this character with this completely ridiculous stuff. I mean, I'll put it this way, America, America, the comic, there's some ridiculous things in there. And I, I would like to believe that if I was sitting here right next to, um, to the creator, to the writer, um, whose name is completely blank in my head right now, I'll go edit this in and post. I, I probably won't. But, uh, and now I'm just stalling to see if the name will pop up, but I will, won't come. Gabby Rivera. Yes. Yes. Success. Um, I'd like to think that if I was sitting next to, to Gabby, we could open up that issue, and there are some things in there that are comical. And I, I think she wrote it that way. I think that that was she, she knew what she was doing. I don't think she was writing like the you know Shakespeare, and it's like, oh, why is people making fun of my my stuff? I, I highly doubt that. So you know, I, I think I, I'd like to, I think that there is an opportunity. There's a there's a place for us to be able to joke and have a good time together, and. And enjoy comics together, and and yes, poke at each other a little bit, and, and have fun. Um, but we we have to, we all have to kind of get there together. We have to bring people back uh, from the brink, and be willing to accept that some comments I think are cool, and they really truly do hurt people. And other comments are are you know they're just they're just critique. It's not personal. We, we've got to be able to get to that that line again. Anyway, um, there you go. Maybe I'll, uh, well, what do you want? Do you want me to roast some things? Do you want me to make some jokes? I, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And if you like it, subscribe, notify, and um, let me have some topics. would love to hear from you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.